Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, about where and how to oil and maintain a garage door. This is something I only do every couple of years. I just want to show you some quick tips where and where not to put oil. The door's got hinges. This is a pivot. When the door comes up, it's a pivot. So we take and I put just a couple of drops on each side of every hinge, because that's a pivot. That is a wear point where when the garage opens and closes, that hinge is turning. It needs some oil. Then we have some rollers. A lot of rollers have bearings on the insides and there's a shaft. See that shaft? This wheel, besides having bearings, or this plastic one doesn't, I put two drops of oil on the shaft. So that wheel has been lubricated to that shaft. Then I oil the shaft, a couple of drops each side. I do the hinge while I'm here, and then now, now I put no oil inside the track. I only oiled the axle of the wheel, the sliding shaft, and the hinge. We have a track here, and what happens is a lot of people will oil or grease the track. Well, if you oil or grease the track in January when it's cold here in Michigan, that oil turns into a uh, molasses. It turns into a brake. So as the garage door is going up, these wheels are like forcing itself to this hardened grease. They have garage door lubricant, which is essentially a silicone spray. And you can just spray a little light layer of silicone in the track on either side just to give the wheels a little lubricant, but it must be dry and clean. When I use WD-40 as a lubricant, it usually only hangs around for six months. Oil hangs around for years, so oil is the ticket. So when I come to a garage door and the track has been oiled, or the oil that I've used in here is eventually accumulated on the track, I'll spray silicone in there. I use it as a cleaner. This is going to soften the oil that's in there and help me clean it out. So I get rid of the oil, I'll clean the track, I'll give it a light spray of silicone at the overhead spring, wound to a very high tension. This spring, as it's rotating and bringing up and down my door, there's a lot of wear. So what you need to do is you just take and run a layer of oil. You could use a grease, a white lithium spray grease would work well. And you do this a couple times, then when the door works, that oil will be in there. We don't worry too much about the accumulation of dust because this spring is so powerful. We just want to make sure that we don't have a metal on metal contact on the spring as it's rolling. Then while I'm up here, if I can get to a bearing or where the shaft rotates, I go in there and try to get a little in there. I use spike lube on the chain and I give this a lube every couple years. So this isn't something that I do with real strict maintenance schedule. A good job done in this store is usually good for several years. Another quick tip from Mr. Hardware.